Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Zep E Circle. This is a fashion focused design smartwatch that sells for 250 bucks and Zep also manufactures the Amazfit line of smartwatches, which do have more brand recognition due to having excellent value. And their options like the Amazfit GTR2 and GTS2 have been very popular over the past year. But under their Zep brand, they don't have as many wearables out yet. They're going after a segment that cares more about the watch as a fashion statement, something that has more attention to detail when it comes to the craftsmanship, the materials, and the build. Hence the classification of this as a designer smartwatch. Now, speaking of, in terms of the hardware, it does feel very luxurious thanks to the use of a combination of 3D curved glass. So you can see how the entire thing is like a bubble combined with a stainless steel body that is ultra reflective and reminiscent of the Apple watches in a good way. It's just super solid and the one piece metal basically fits all the way across the frame compared to the other smartwatches again under the Amazfit line which do have some metal accents on the sides but the back are still then segmented and made out of plastic. You also have the array of sensors on here which include blocked oxygen, SpO2, as well as heart rate monitoring and the watch is rated to be 5 ATM, the same as on the Amazfit GTR2 so you can use this when showering, when swimming, and it will still survive. Band straps are also easily removable, and by default it comes with a genuine leather texture, albeit leather is not really a super water resistant texture, so if you are trying to get this wet and doing a lot of swimming, I would recommend swapping it for a silicon texture. Buckles of the straps are also made out of the same dense stainless steel, which is a bit more strong compared to just aluminum alloy, which they use on their other watches. Otherwise, we are greeted to a 1.3 inch AMOLED display on the front here, which is completely round and has super inky blacks, just like most OLED screens in this regard. And the contrast levels, as well as the pixel density are both excellent, almost pin sharp. Now the UI of the watch is almost unchanged compared to the other Amazfit watches, as we briefly saw in our unboxing and first impressions, which is not a bad thing, it's very simple, however it does help the battery life and the Zep E Circle was able to last around 7 days before I needed to recharge it again, dropping roughly around 10% every day that I wore it. That's definitely longer than most Android Wear or Apple Watches, but again, considering that this thing has more limited apps that it can run and a more locked down OS, it makes sense. Now again, the watch itself is super slim and lightweight. Contrasting with other more advanced smartwatches, it's a pretty big difference in terms of the weight and the ergonomics, just making it feel super natural, but still very solid. Again, thanks to all the premium materials that they've chosen, just in a super compact and slim body. So this is a watch that will look good, even if you have smaller wrists for men and women alike. So anyways, we can swipe down here to access a quick shortcut of options, including turning on a flashlight that will turn the entire display white to illuminate subjects in the dark. You can also adjust the screen brightness. There is a proximity sensor that can automatically raise it higher and lower, depending on your surroundings. There's also an eco mode that will turn off certain features to elongate the battery up to two weeks. And there's also some do not disturb modes that you can access here. Now swiping up, we can take a look at any notifications. You're able to read them back from social media, including text messages. However, you aren't able to reply to messages just like the other Amazfit watches. They are going for a very simplistic kind of design here. Now anyways, we can swipe on the edge here to go through a carousel of different widgets. Your Pi score is representative of how you're doing. It's a consolidated score out of 100 that takes into account things like your heart rate, how much exercise you're getting, your sleep and stress levels, and it will give you just one number to quickly gauge how you're performing. Next over, you can take a look at weather and it will tell you your uh, sunrise and set time as well as the weather pattern for the next week ahead is all synced over using Bluetooth which is good. You can also control the music that is being played on your phone although the watch doesn't have any built-in storage for storing songs on the memory itself so it's used as a remote to control whatever is on your phone. You can also take a look at your heart rate measurement continuously as well as your fitness stats from the past day can also be looked at converted into distance number of times that you've been active and standing. I can tap on the crown key once to bring up the full list of different apps and again scrolling and swiping is super smooth and fluid uh, and things that we can access here include a stress monitoring test which will basically test the fluctuation in heart rate and the smaller the fluctuation is basically the less stressed you are so it's going to give you a quick estimation of that. You can also take the SpO2 or blood oxygen monitoring test and usually anything above 90% is good meaning that you're breathing 
properly. Like other trackers with this function, you do have to remain still when you're taking a test, however, and it can take up to 20 seconds to measure it. So it's not going to be done automatically like the heart rate sensor, which is done throughout the day and is a bit faster. Other things on here include taking a look at any workouts. Uh, again, you do have a selection on here, such as running, walking, cycling, treadmill, pool, swimming, elliptical, skiing, free training, and even more options under these broader categories. There's actually around 100 different activities that you can find, so it's quite a good list. The one thing I will say, though, is the Zep e-watches, however, don't have built-in GPS chip. Perhaps the biggest omission that I do wish would be present, since the other smartwatches under their Amazfit line at this price range, uh, especially, again, the Amazfit GTR and GTS, all do have the GPS capability. So what that means is if you're running outdoors and you want to track your route on a map, you have to bring along your phone and then use the connected GPS function. So you can start an activity from the phone side and then it will track your route using your phone's GPS and then the watch will track your heart rate, steps, and other stats. You can set up alarms on here and it will vibrate giving you haptic vibrations as you're getting different types of notifications and under widgets you can also find a compass. And that works really well if you're trying to locate yourself very quickly outdoors. Again, looks great on this display. There's also a timer as well as a countdown timer as well that works as expected without really any complaints, basic stuff. And under settings, you can also turn on functions like a always on display. So after a few seconds, we can see it uh, basically will dim itself in terms of brightness, but still give us a residue of the hands on the clock that we can continuously see even without waking the screen Although the always on functionality will slightly reduce the battery life to around four to five days. Here's a quick look at some other watch faces that you can find. Uh, some of these are built in by default. Other ones which are available as options that you can download over from the Zep companion app. And they all look very attractive on this beautiful contrasty display as you can see there. And some of them are even customizable in terms of elements of different icons you can further refine. Like if I don't want to use the weather widget here, I can also change that to something like the UV level. Just a few more here that I downloaded over from the Zep companion app to give you guys a better idea of the diversity of options which you have available. Again, all of them looking quite good. Because of the contrasty screen, if you have a black uh, background, it kind of bleeds in and makes it look almost bezel-less, but if you have a display that kind of shows off colors, you can see that there are still going to be some edges there, uh, but still looks very attractive. Here's another one that shows a bit more of information at a glance. Another one here which has this beautiful yellow accent to it. Some of these are all customized exclusively for the Zep E circle, by the way. And a few other ones here which are a bit more sporty, depending on your preferences, can also be kind of tweaked. Others which are just super minimalistic. Looking quite good, I have to say. Other stats to quickly keep in mind, now this watch doesn't have built-in NFC, but that's been the case for all of Amazfit smartwatches that we've seen recently, so you can't really use it for mobile payment. Uh, so that is one area where I do think they can probably add in the future to keep things competitive, but otherwise delivering a very fluid experience in terms of just navigation and handling the basics in terms of checking out notifications as well as a quickly tracking your stats such as sleep, your heart rate, things like that continuously behind the scenes. For instance, when it comes to the step counting, I found that uh, it was pretty much the same sensor that they're using on the Amazfit GTR 2. What that means is it will never really overcount your steps. If anything, it's a little on the conservative side. If I walked 100 steps, it would sometimes say 95 steps which I think is at least better than saying you've walked more than you actually have just by shaking it. So it's actually quite picky in terms of what it counts as a real step and gives you a close enough estimation at the end of the day. Uh, when it comes to the heart rate monitoring though, it is super and had very similar measurements to other smartwatches. When it comes to the sleep tracking component, it's also very good. It tracks sleep automatically even during the day, so it includes naps. If I fall asleep right now, for example, and take an hour long nap and then wake up again, it will count that as napping, as sleeping automatically, and then you'll see that information once you sync it over to your phone. That is one thing to keep in mind though, is that on this particular firmware version of the um, Zep E, currently I don't see the ability to check out my sleep data directly on the watch, but you will see this information on the app. So the Zep app, as aforementioned, is actually the same that is used on all of their other Amazfit branded watches as well. We can easily sync over data very quickly using Bluetooth and check out other stats including our heart rate, blood oxygen level. Everything can be more quickly seen just by tapping inside and having more details at a quick glance as well as uh, evaluating things like your performance, your score. You can even track your heart rate during 
night when you're sleeping, and it will also give you alerts if you've passed a certain threshold that you set for yourself. And we are also able to take a look at what types of monitoring you want to turn on or off in order to conserve on battery and also the frequency of how many times during the day you want to be measuring different things. So taking a look at the aforementioned different watch faces, we can see that these are the options that you're presented with, a pretty nice list, and then you can also create custom background watch faces too, so setting your own gallery or photo as the background and then sending it over. So that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Zep E-Circle. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is not a watch that is going to be the best value uh, by any means. They're really going after a design-focused approach. They're charging more of a premium due to having stronger attention to detail when it comes to the build, the way that the glass just curves more dramatically than other watches on the edges, as well as having a more solid one-piece stainless steel frame. The performance is as good as the other Macefit watches when it comes to the tracking accuracy for steps as well as your heart rate, SBO2, and also having a beautiful display to boost, although it's not going to be the most advanced smartwatch in the world. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. Uh, I will also briefly mention that the watch here does also come in a square version that sells for the exact same price, has the same build quality, the same features and materials, so it just is a matter of if you like the shape here or the more boxy design. So thanks for watching again here at OS Reviews. That's been a closer look at the Zep E Circle.